What's up, everybody? Um, so I shot it. Intro to this, and uh, but I think I'm gonna end up scrapping it. I'm just gonna do it on the fly. We're doing the mustard box, mustard bass box challenge. These I added, so ignore those. It came with these on the spot baits. I think they're called jitter mites. Um, it's supposed to be a Ned rig. I don't have a Ned rig, so I'm gonna try and work it on like a, um, a drop shot. These beautiful 10 inch curly tails. It's called Green Pumpkin Party. Um, it's green pumpkin mold with blue, purple, pink, red, green, all types of different flakes in here. That's gonna be the money. Um, we got a War Eagle spinner bait. You already know that's gonna be money. Some Zoom Super Swimming Spoo or Super Zoom Swimming Super Flukes, I think they're called. Um, white with a blue flake, gonna be money. We got a popper. I woke up a little late, so this one's gonna be hard to accomplish. But I don't know if you could tell, there's tons of grass and vegetation, so I might get lucky on that one. The good old chatterbait. Can't go wrong with that, that's gonna be an easy win. And then this is like a jerk bait slash swim bait, I don't, I don't know. It's called a Bait Lab Rocket Shad. Got high hopes for this one. But I'm not gonna be able to fish this grassy area with it. But all right, let's tie up and get to it. All right, so the first place was a bus. We're gonna try and uh, make something happen here. Like I said, I woke up so, so late. So I don't have the highest confidence today. It's hot, we're in Florida. I don't have a boat, so I can't go, you know, cover hunting. But we're gonna do what we can, you know? Um, there's a couple more ponds that I feel I could check out. If this one doesn't pan out, I've had luck here before when it was hot out, but uh, we'll see. go all right one down little guy don't care he's fighting and eh, not really he's just covered in grass give it up bud you're caught Covered in the ramen noodle grass. He's like really green. That's a pretty fish. Looks like it might be fresh off a of spawn. Well, she. Ugh. All right, so it's just a crankbait. I was interested. It's dead fish. But uh, I was interested to see what it, what it did, but it's just any, any other jerk bait, crankbait. There we go. Little guy, but the point is, man, he's not even bigger than this.
Wear him down. He's been hooked before. I almost slipped in all of that. Oh. Now I've never thrown a drop shot. Mustard Bass gave me this hook a while ago. Never used it. Got this weight, I think I'm doing it right. But check out this bait. It's supposed to be a net rig, I believe. But that thing is funky. I'm not even sure quite how to throw this thing, bro. Throw it and let it dangle, I guess? Shake it? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's let the current do its work for me. Maybe if I get lower. Last cast and I'm out of here. Whew. Today was brutal, bro. It's in the 80s. I'm fishing stuff I have no idea how to fish. Shout out to Mustard Box for kind of pushing me to do that. I don't drop shot fish. It's Florida. Yes, I know they drop shot. I don't. Not a big fan of finesse fishermen. Not finesse fishermen, finesse fishing. It's too slow for me, um, but I'm home. I'm back at the house. I'm gonna go ahead, eat lunch. I'm starving, regroup, and then I'm gonna get back out there. Hopefully complete this slam. I'm gonna do a little bit of YouTube, figure out how to work a drop shot. Um, but I also, I don't think that popper is gonna work today. I don't think I'm gonna complete it. Look at this. It's the middle of the day, it's bright as hell out. Only way I'm gonna get a popper bite is if I get lucky and get a reaction. Other than that, I'll see y'all back on the water. All right, y'all, I am back. I got some food in my belly. I had some rice, chicken, um, some broccoli smothered in a cream cheese sauce. Ooh, fire. But I'm revitalized, I'm ready to go back out, and give it another shot. The sun is still beaming. But that doesn't even matter no more. I got a couple ideas. Still don't know how to work a drop shot, so drop that comment in the video. Tell me how to work this thing. And uh, let's get back to it. Y'all, this is where I wanted to go this morning. I got kicked out of it pretty quickly. Um, let's see if I can actually get some fish here before I get told to leave again. I'm actually gonna start out with the hardest thing I think it is to catch. <clears throat> that being this drop shot. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. This is why I was super excited to come here this morning. But again, I got kicked out. And I still got my bait. Who knows, maybe I'll throw it later just, just because. 
knock out this little war eagle real quick. I had a bite, but my drag wasn't set. things are not staying hooked. Holy ho, whoa, calm down there, killer. Another little guy. War Eagle is done. Uh, try this. Once we bang this out, we'll get the popper. And then we'll start working towards the big ones. That's a good one. No, it's not. But geez, they fight hard. What's up with these little bass, man? Come here, guy. Let's go. Ah, it's got sticky hooks though, so if I do get a hit, at least I know, you know what I mean, the fish is coming with me. This thing like pops weird, like let me see if I can... Can you see it? It also may very well be the setup I have it on. This one's a big one. And not so big. How did you get hooked like this, guy? This one I think we'll get a good send off with. That was a hit. There we go. Come through. These little bass put up a fight over here. So I got two on the spinner bait. Let's just redo the whole slam. I don't think that's a bad idea. That's for sure the biggest one of the day. These bass are just really hungry. That's a half bitten, half bitten worm. And it is getting hit. Oh. That one feels good.
Dang. I gotta remember when I'm finesse fishing. That I gotta loosen the drag. Every cast with this thing. All right, y'all, I'm back to where I began. Um, I started off here this morning simply because I got kicked out of the other spot that's 15, 20 minutes away. I fish this spot regularly. But as you can tell in the video, I caught a ton of fish on the mustard bass box. Not the eight and 10 pounder I was looking for, but I got a ton of quality. I learned how to fish something new. I don't ever use a drop shot. I caught, I don't know, three or four fish on a drop shot. Um, but yeah, this box is the real deal. Make sure you get the subscription. Um, if you use code FLAJ, you'll still have to pay full price because I'm not sponsored. But all right, y'all, take it easy.